What is up, homies? Christian back at again on our Twin Sons action figure close up. And today I have for us the Hasbro 3 and 3 quarter inch Zam Wessel. Pulled out another older figure out from the archives. Um, so, for all open honesty, I was going to actually do the new Clone Wars Target exclusive Black Series Clone Wars Anakin Skywalker figure. <coughs> but as I was looking at him today, I honestly couldn't decide if I actually wanted to open him or not. I do open most of my figures. I would say about 95% of my collection is open. But, I mean, even for you openers out there, you know how it is. Every once in a while, you just get that figure that's in the really nice packaging, whether it be like a vintage collection or like the Black Series vintage collections and stuff like that, or something like this, where it's not a vintage collection, but it's supposed to recreate that older art style. And it just makes you go, is it worth opening? So while I ponder that and decide if I want to open him or not, I figured let's uh, let's go reach into the archives and look at a figure and uh, just another open disclaimer. Because this is an older figure from the archives, I am admittedly missing a couple accessories. Uh, the head, so I have this head. Her normal head is somewhere. Uh, that's all I can say, said it's somewhere. And an accessory I didn't even realize I was missing until about two minutes ago. Uh, her pistol, that's long gone. Her head, I think I have an idea of where it is, maybe. But it's kind of hard to get to. It's kind of stowed away. This pistol, whew, long gone. I don't even know what it looks like. I don't even know an inkling of where it could be. So, with those disclaimers out of the way, though, I still have 95% of the figure. So, let's take a look at what we got here. So, as you can see, it's Zam Wessel from Attack of the Clones. And this is very intricately detailed, I feel like, for a three and three quarter inch figure, especially for the era it came out in. I think this is a, uh, maybe like a 2008 figure. Actually, there's always one surefire way to find out, find her stamp. 2010 figure, there we are. 2010 figure, so I was two years off. Um, so, oh, it just came off. Let's take that back in there. And there we go, all right. So, without further ado, Let's go over. So, starting off with her head and helmet, this part does come off, and so does this. So you can just have her helmet like this, which is really nice, and you can see her standard alien face there. Um, the helmet, very nicely sculpted. You can see they put some detailing marks in there. They have the holes, the gaping holes right there, but you know. If you're looking straight on, it looks good, and those are meant to be filled. Because, will she stand for me? She will not stand for me, but let's just hold this. So you can see here, this is her face cover. And as you saw, it looked really good. The folds in the cloth look really nice. The wash, I swear, there's a better paint app on this 2010 three and three quarter inch figure than there are on 2021 Black Series figures out there today. They had that really nice deep purple. And then you can see they put this wash on top of that purple to really bring out the folds inside of the fabric. And the little divots and dents inside the fabric that they sculpted in. Looks phenomenal. And it comes with these little binocular things. I don't want to call them binoculars. So I'm going to call them binoculars. Really nicely sculpted. The head, let's take off the helmet. Very well sculpted very well painted. I mean, you guys can just see the immaculate paint job on it. Looks very good. They put a wash. I don't think it's a wash. It's more of a dry brush over the green. Looks like they put a base coat of a dark green and then dry brush a brighter green on top. It really brings the sculpt out. Makes it pop. Eyes very well done. And uh, it looks really good. But honestly, my favorite way to display her is covering it all up because I like that stealth look. The torso looks really good. A lot of details right here in this center area. These do come out as you just saw. This little center area of her torso, a lot of details. Those hoses look really good. Again, just that paint app, really nice. The silvers are just, you know, washed over so it looks well used and nicely worn in. The sculpting work here is just really well done. 
I think this is one of the best sculpted three and three quarter inch figures. You can see these beads here and stuff, individually beaded. Looks really good. The holster, although, sorry, lost a pistol, but looks really good. It's got those ribbing right there. Just looks really good. Metal and everything, just really good. I know I'm just sounding like a broken record, but this figure still has me in awe 11 years later. You can see the back here, the hood, which we never see her wear, but I wish we did, because it'd be really cool. You can see all the folds in the fabric back here that they sculpted in, and again, just that wash coming over the entire figure, really just bringing depth to everything. Especially like this pleated, almost kind of looks like what the armorer wears, that same material, leather pleated half skirt, really looks good. The sculpting on it, very nicely done, and again, just the wash really brings out the depth. If Hasbro just kept doing washes today, everything would look 10 times better. Um, you know, I used to paint Warhammer models, and for anyone else out there who used to, you guys know that even if you botched up a paint job, you throw a wash on it, 10 times better. Just looks 10 times better. You can botch up a paint job, the wash will just give depth, and a little depth to the things that are hidden down, and a pop to the things that stand out. So it just really fixes a lot of things, and makes good things look even better. This looks very good. Her gauntlets. Her little wrist guard gauntlets look really good. Nice sculpting on them. So you can see here. They even sculpted in like a little design there. Looks kind of like they're trying to do some arabesh, maybe. They even put some of that paneling in right there and stuff. Just really phenomenal work. Whoever sculpted this figure really loved Zam Wessel. You can just tell. This seems like a very labor of love. Shook those out. Her legs. Looking good. A little more plain in comparison to the torso and everything, but that's, you know, costume design that's supposed to be like that. You just have that little stripe running down that's sculpted in there. And her boots, her high shinned boots come up. The same color. I kind of wish the boots were a different color, but again, that's costume design. I feel like if they were maybe a darker color, help them stand out, help them pop out a little bit more. They were maybe like this brown right here. Help separate them from the actual pants some more. But sculpting the paint up down there, just very cleanly done. Like you can just see like right there, there's a little bit of bleed over on the foot. But honestly, looking at the rest of the figure, that's really the only place that I see a paint bleed from the silver. And for it to be on the foot, I got very lucky because who's gonna notice it? You're always standing the figure up like that. So, let's go over articulation uh, for the head. A little bit of up, not too much up, but you know, she can look up at like dirge, some Obi one. Some down, not too much down though, more of just a down that makes her look angry rather than actually looking down a little bit of tilt which i'm not going to complain any tilt on a three and three quarter inch figure i will take and of course swivel left swivel right for her shoulders you can see the cutout right there come out to pass 90. the elbows swivel no bicep swivel on three and three quarter inch figures well, once in a while i've seen it but it's usually at the elbow the elbow comes up to exactly 90. Looking good. And for her wrists, they're just swivel wrists. They probably will pop out. I'm not gonna, no, oh, yep, there we go. Cause I'm not gonna try any harder, but it doesn't take much force. So you can see there's no articulation in the wrist. Built in at least, it just comes from the swivel there. So the other arm is going to be the same for her torso. Let's put these arms up like always. A little bit of lean. Seems to lean more to her left than her right. And that lean is actually coming in, as you can see right there, there is a midsection cut out. So, oh, there we go. Still leans a little bit more to one side than the other. I guess you really just gotta break it in to get it going. Obviously it swivels right there too. There is no swivel in that lower joint. I think this 
lower part of her abdomen is just straight connected to her legs. This belt piece sort of just covers it. If you do or swivel it too much like that, as you can see, those things will pop out. So it does swivel. A little bit of lean back, not too much. And we have some nice crunch. This is some of the best crunch I've seen on a three and three quarter inch figure in a good while. It does make it pop out on the back. So, you know, if you're photographers out there, you know, take it from this angle. So, some really nice ab articulation for the hips. You can already see these cut out hips. They're not going to be that good. It comes up, as you can see here, but you're not going to get out to the side at all. It's no side. And because of the costume des design, you're not going to be getting to the back because her little pleated skirt, half skirt, is blocking it. So, see, so comes out right there. And she has a swivel at the knee, as you can see. And the knee does articulate to, let's see, if we can get this out of the way, does it come up any higher? No. So the pleat skirt doesn't even really stop it. It's just a 45 degree knee. Looks like, yeah, it's that plastic in the back. You can see right there, it's stopping up. So, decent knees. I mean, nothing too great. You're not gonna be able to get her, unfortunately, to, like kneel down for a sniper shot. But, it's not the worst thing, I guess. I would prefer to have seen at least 90, though, just so I can see her, you know, crouch down for that sniper shot for her ankles. We have the swivel. Oh, I guess this would be the rock. And this is the swivel. So we got those standard Hasbro swivel rockers. Love to see them. So as far as accessories, she is supposed to come with a standard humanoid head. I can't remember her race right now, so it, which her race is, drop it down in the comments down below, correct me, because I don't know what it is. But it does come with her standard humanoid face. Obviously it comes with her helmet. It comes with her face mask. I remember being excited as a kid because this was like one of the most figures with the most accessories I've ever gotten before in my life. So I was really excited as a kid getting this figure, getting all these accessories and all these display options and play options. But this is how I usually keep her on my shelf. I just really like the incognito look like this. She does supposed to come with a pistol. As I said before, I do not have. And she comes with her rifle. Rifle looking pretty good here as you can see kind of plain you know for all the wash they put on the figure they could not spare a, a drop or two for the rifle it seems it's a very clean looking rifle let's see if we can get this to focus there we go keep my fingers behind so it focuses you see really nicely sculpted though there's a lot of like ridges and stuff up here the scope like the scope power or whatever it is got the trigger well cut out there looking really nice. It's got these little notches throughout the entire thing. There we go. This black and silver. Looks good though. A little bit of a black paint app right there. I think it's a, a mist paint. But yeah, it's looking really good. But it's kind of useless if she can't hold it. So how well can she hold it? Let's see. And she holds it pretty well. She holds in a relaxed position very well. Let's cut the camera back out a little bit now. Um, I don't think she can really get it into a shooting pose very well. Unfortunately. Well, she did hold it really well. I guess I'm proving that wrong. There we go. So, she can hold it there. But, yeah, she just doesn't really get it. So she holds it really well in a relaxed position. But unfortunately, she doesn't really get it up into a shooting position easily. And if she does, it does not look very good. So I'm just going to call it that she can't. But she's going to look really nice, really mean, standing on the shelf, holding it in a relaxed position. Let's get right back in there. I guess I take that back about her holding this gun really well. Because... I forgot how much of a pain it is to get in there. She's been standing on my shelf holding in the rifle for a few years now. 
There we go. So holds really well in a relaxed position. So overall, um, one thing I gotta say, Hasbro, give us a Zam Wessel in three and three quarter inch and not six inch. Well, guess not a Zam Wessel in three and three quarter inch too. You know what? Just give us an updated figure. I would love to see it. You know, we can get those new drop down swivel hips like Mando has and what like Boba Fett has where it's got the thigh swivel and everything too. I think we could get some Zam love in here, but we really need a Black Series version of Zam Wessel. She's really lacking, especially, remember when they did that uh, six inch episode two wave? What was that, like last summer? Maybe even around this time a year ago, maybe a few late summer a year ago. Would have been nice to have gotten her then, but you know what, let's get another run. Let's get some more of those background Jedi Let's get this, let's get, um, you know, let's just get everyone from episode two. We already got Dooku. Uh, let's get Poggle the Lesser. Oh man, Poggle the Lesser in six inch would be great. But really I want a Zam in six inch. I think a lot of people like a Zam in six inch to pose either with their Jango Feds or they could pose her laying down like Obi-Wan crouching over her and something. Just a lot you could do with a six inch Zam Wessel. But for three and three quarter inch, this one's very good. Very well painted. The sculpt, you can just tell it was a labor of love by whoever was the sculptor because they went through a lot of effort. So let me know what you guys think of this figure. Let me know in the comments down below if you haven't. If you do have her, you should uh, bust her out, pose her, and take some pics. Tag us at Twin Sons Outpost on Instagram. I'd love to see some. And, uh, you know, let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see more three and three quarter inch, or, you know, if you guys want me to open up the Anakin, I'll do it for you, the people. So let me know. Help me uh, decide what I'm going to do there. And again, if you want to see some more three and three quarter inch bounty hunters, let me know. I have a lot. At one point, I was trying to collect every three and three quarter inch bounty hunter. And uh, there's a lot, as you know. So I gave up a little way into it. But I still have a lot of them. So maybe I can do a mini series on that if you guys are interested. Uh, until next time, though, may the force be with you.